What is going on, you guys? It's Aviation Four Eight Four here, and I'm happy. Uh, welcome back to another awesome video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, this is my Phoenix Models Prime Air Boeing Seven Six Seven Three Hundred ER. Now, this model might seriously it might be one of my um, top favorite models, um, only because Phoenix Models did a really really nice job on it, a spectacular job on it. Um, I was a bit very worried actually that this model was gonna come ho dish, just ter just like horrible um, because I've seen I have seen some videos um, such as um, uh, Aviation Blue Tech uh, go subscribe to his channel his videos are really very great uh, lots of information and stuff um, I saw his video and uh, of this prime, this primaire, um, he bought bo uh, the one without the winglets and one with the winglets. And the one with the winglets, it showed that this model had crooked landing gear and everything, and it was just I, I was very worried because. Um, and I've also seen many blogs as well that this model was gonna come like really terrible. Um, because of the mold and everything so but luckily mine did not in fact well I, th I thought I saw a lot of people have been saying that their wings were high um, to uh, angled too high up to um, so yeah um, yes yeah, so that's it um, I'll show you guys how the model looks so and I did get this model off of easytoys.com and by the time I ordered the, this model, I saw those videos. Uh, those videos came out, and they were published, and I just saw them, and I started getting worried, so, yeah. So here's the box, uh, very nice Phoenix, your average Phoenix models box, very nice design. I love this livery so much. Um, yeah, so there's the sky, the prime air, uh, 2D generated image of the aircraft, this, like, clouds and all that. Amazon Prime Air, uh, November 1381 Alpha, very nice. And then it's the back, I think it's like, very, very nice, real picture of the sky again. Um, so here's the top, and there, somehow this like, part is like damaged. I don't know, um, strange, but yeah. So, the right, the bottom, and the left. So, that's it for the box. Now, let's get on to the beauty. Oops, okay. So, let's start off from the front. Here we have the cockpit windows, windshield wipers, um, peated tubes, uh, what is, I have no idea what that says. Um, yeah. 81A on the E tops on the nose gear door. Um, then we have the f uh, front entry L1 door. Uh, I think, what? I have no idea what that is. It could be like some door thing. I don't know. But this is not a passenger aircraft, so it cannot be like a stair thing. I'm, I don't know what that is. I really wanted this model because this livery is just really fantastic. I'll just show you uh, as I'm going through this how the livery is very nice. In fact, I honestly think this livery is meant for a, like a passenger airline. It's like crazy to imagine that this could be, this is a cargo airline only. Primary titles, very nice. Then we have the beautiful, uh, I guess boring engines, white, but it's okay. Um, Runway light, and then we have the red anti or navigation light. Very amazing winglet. Really spectacular job on this uh, model, I must say. Phoenix did. Uh, then we have just it's a very like bland aircraft, but just the belly is the best part. Uh, registration November one three 
8.1 alpha. Uh, Amazon Smile logo. Very nice. Then we have the APU exhaust uh, stabilizers. Very nice APU. And then we have same thing on this side, except there's a cargo door here, and then there's one here. And there's a green, supposedly there's supposed to be green navigation light there. All right, so, um, here we have the top, red uh, anti-collision light antenna, Setcom? Yeah, this should be a setcom because it's not a passenger plane, so it cannot be Wi Fi box. Yeah. Uh, flaps slash aileron spoilers, no step, tiny no step markings. The best. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, beacon lights, antenna, and some stabilizers. Then we have. No, this is the best part. A nose gear door, nose gear. And there we have it. Very, very, very nice. Um, yeah, same f uh, bottom of the wings, engines. Amazon logo with the blue belly. I like it very much. Um, Stan host uh, rear gear and rear gear doors. Antenna. And then we have the gray underneath. I just want to show you the whole um okay never mind um uh, here I'm gonna try to like show you what the belly looks like I'm gonna try to okay so it th those colors and the mixture and everything is just fantastic um yeah so I, I reason I ha I just had to get this model because I always um, usually I'll, I usually buy Gemini Jets models from Amazon. There's a lot of Gemini Jets models on Amazon, especially some new releases. Sometimes they don't have some models. Um, so I really like Amazon their service. I've always had a great experience with them, especially with Prime. So I just had to get this model, and just again. Uh, I'm s if I get annoying for saying this, uh, whoops, the livery is just nice. I mean, for a cargo airline, it's spectacular. Like, my favorite cargo airline liveries would probably be um, um, Airbridge Cargo, um, Prime Air, um, Atlas Air is okay, uh, UPS is alright. Basically, just, uh, um, they're just really, the cargo airline liveries are not really the best because it's just, it's a cargo airline, it's not really supposed to be attractive, but this one is just fantastic, and especially the box, and also, just to show you guys, I think the gear roll, I'm gonna try to show you guys. The landing gear roll, uh, somewhat okay. These roll very nicely. This one rolls nicely as well. Uh, this one is, this front one is a bit st stuck, but it's okay. It rolls, but it's like, kind of gets stuck a little bit, some, like when it passes like some part, but. I also noticed something that the, uh, the front Nose gear looks a bit, it looks like it's backwards. I don't know. That's okay, it's, it looks a bit, because like, um, yeah, I think it looks backwards a bit. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah. If it is backwards, it's really not. I'm not really bothered by it at all because it's I didn't it's not noticeable and it's basically kind of looks the same from far away. If you just look like pay really like close attention to it, then it will be it would look pretty bad. But you know, 
And also, what I did notice is that there, or at least it looks like it, their landing, their landing gear are somewhat leveled. Their um, wings are properly leveled. Yeah, I don't see any errors with my model. At least, hopefully, there is none. Um, but because I have seen lots of other models with lots of damages and errors, I don't know if I should recommend this model. There are a few with uh, left on Easy Toys. Um, Phoenix did release this model, uh, a model without the winglets, and one without the winglets in the like a ch save the uh, saving like supporting the children or something livery. Um, I didn't want to get that with those because number one, I don't like special liveries that much. Um, I usually despise them, but if there's a mo special livery that I really like, it's worth going for. But this one was the best one I decided to get. Um, and also, sad thing is there was an incident earlier this year with the aircraft with the winglets. So that is very, it's pretty sad. Um, it was, I think it was operating against um, under at last air, but it was in prime air's colors, and it's pretty sad that happened. Yeah, so and I wish that they uh, put the smile on the nose like PSA would um, back then, but I guess that would be copy. I, I I don't know what that would be. I think that would be just copying or something. I don't know. Alright, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. If you, had, um, if you have this model, I would like to know if you have it. Again, I don't really feel like... I, I wouldn't really recommend this model because I, you, I don't know how the models are going to be. I saw a lot of complaints and stuff against this uh, model. So I wouldn't really recommend it personally, but... Um, I, was, I guess I was kind of lucky mine came out well hopefully um but yeah um but anyways yeah that's all i have to say for this video guys and i'll see you in the next video